Privyet. I would like to see anatomy videos. Alright, so this is a disclaimer. I did not have much time today to record an audio for this, but I did it in some kind of one taker, just like this. And I'm a stuttery little boy, okay? I can't talk. At least I can't talk quite well, okay? Like, you, you know what I mean, okay? If you've, if you've listened to me at least once before, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Have fun. Welcome back. By now, you should already know this is going to be a banger. Because I didn't have much time this week, so you're not getting the anatomy video you wanted. Yeah, you're getting the exact opposite. Because now I'm going to tell you what you should not do when you try to draw proper anatomy or basically anything you want to draw. You can see it as an anti-tutorial. Now, in the background, there's a time-lapse. This time-lapse is sped up quite a bit. The original time of the drawing is about an hour, which is quite a lot because it's really just one pose. It's very difficult from the angle and, well, the gesture she's doing, but I didn't use any reference and I still wanted to draw the anatomy as properly as I can, you know, with the foreshortening, just so it looks basically like a human being and not some anonymous blob. And what I wanted to tell you with this, at least until I make your desired video about the anatomy of the human figure, which is going to come most likely next week or so, because next week I've got quite a lot of time on my hand and I actually didn't draw for quite a while, so some anatomy drawing gesture things are going to be quite exciting to get my feet back into the drawing world. Now, I want to tell you that if you draw anatomy, don't be afraid to use any kind of reference and help that you can get. It's hard. It's really, really hard to know every single muscle there is. Like, come on, what are we, doctors? No, we're just a bunch of lads. A bunch of lads that want to make the pictures good. So always use reference and always draw at least some indication of the body basically naked. If you have a character that has like lots of sheets, lots of clothing and you can't see any kind of skin, it's always better to just draw a little bit of the body almost naked so you have everything in place, so everything looks right. Because there's a lot of things, a lot of art that's going around the internet that looks absolutely great like the rendering on it is super good but a hand or a knee or whatever a foot is just some place where it shouldn't be and in the first few seconds when you look at it when you scroll through instagram there's really nothing you can see if you look at it closer then you see it and you're like oh wait a minute that's not how feet work. And it's at that point when you see and realize something is wrong that you know, hey, I've actually learned some anatomy. Now, if you've made it this far, I'm not even gonna ask you to subscribe or something because that's already enough. If you're here, that's already enough for me because I already gotta find out who these two other lads are who subscribe to me randomly and I got no notification or anything. So yeah, there's, there's a lot to do. Anyway, if you've made it this far, I want you to go to a website, I'll have it linked in the description. It's called something like Pose Maniacs or just something like that. I'll have it linked down below and it is a game changer. It is super good to learn the anatomy and I don't want you to go there and learn every muscle or something. I just want you to go there and look at it. Just take a look at it. That's better than nothing, okay? Looking at it, getting a little feel for how things look, where are the big groups of muscles, you know? That's that's a lot of work done, you know? Like, if you can just visualize the muscle groups, where they are, how they somehow look, that's a huge step forward. If you feel confident, of course, then just draw it. Make a copy of it, you know? Just take a pose you like and copy it on paper, in Photoshop, whatever you want to use. 
And with this, I'd like to check off. Okay, I am gone for good. I will never come back until next week. Maybe with two videos. Because it's less the drawing material that's scarce. It's more of a talking and audio issue that I have. Not software related. Anyway, have a nice day or night or whatever it is. And happy drawing.